kitchen. I Just see Hero Marine going around. I don't know exactly if he's already started, because maybe like last time around we had to wait. Like we were hyped up for the Hero Marine pizza for about a good six hours, and then they came out and like they were like that, that big. So you know it'll be a little while, I'm sure, until well, Buddy's satisfied. But we still shared our first pizza. We did share our first pizza. I we went like with the hook and everything. Too. Yeah, you guys I couldn't <laughs> see that. <one> off <laughs> there were little love hearts, <laughs> hearts above our heads. It was cute. Of no. course, Pride of Altera's next map. We go from glittering ashes to Pride of Altera's. Why the hell not? You know, I um, I walked by and the chef was like, "You want breakfast, Roddy?" I was like, "Nope, saving myself with a big gay pizza." But then Gabe was actually sitting around the corner, which I didn't even know, and he started laughing. He's like, "Oh, they're coming." <laughs> <laughs> That's like, good. I, I know it, Gabe. I know it. Alrighty, guys, it's time for the next match. It's gonna be match point right here for Cyril. I wasn't actually looking at his face there, but these games must be must be quite taxing. Yeah, I think the last one was a game that made Saro happy, though. Mm -hmm. If I know Yona, you know, he, he kind of just thinks about his strategy for a little bit, and he's like, because all these links he made, those are a few more links that he normally makes in the early game, but he probably just thought of the build immediately, he's like, I think I can get a good trade here early on, and that should make the rest of the game a bit easier for myself, and it truly was. There was one maybe scary moment when those 20 Marines made it to the other side of the map for the first time, and they stimmed. I was like, ah! But yeah, the queen. Yeah. There were so many queens. There was a lot of transfuse available, and obviously reinforcements too. So I think I was worried, but I don't think the Finnish Pinon was very worried. This man, I don't think he has to be worried either, because he's playing one hell of a best of five so far. But he is down one two, representing the Shopify Rebellion, the 2016 World Champion of StarCraft two. Yon. And his opponent, a fellow World Champion of StarCraft. One of the all-time legends and still one of the very best. We have none other than Cerro. Do you think Cerro misses Krefeld? <laughs> yeah, he, he misses the crazy parties in Krefeld. Remember, uh, he doesn't really drink at all, right? I remember this this one time when he won the whole thing. They made him take one of those shots. Mm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like yeah, the, to be honest, he took that well. Yeah, yeah. The finish in him came out. He's like, yes, guys, that was kind of disgusting. But hey, I'm not dying. Yeah. And everyone else was like, what? He's not even throwing up. How is this possible? He's like, yes, I'm finished. Yeah. <laughs> to explain this to some of the new StarCraft 2 fans around, or for the people that don't normally watch the Homestory Cup events, they have a weird tradition here at Take TV where they hand out shots of a German liquor called Essacher Luft. It's really hard to explain what it tastes like. It just kind of tastes like ass. It's really not good. It's, it's like glittering, glittering. Uh, no, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just not good. It's hard to explain. Yeah, I had a shot of it last time as well. Yeah. It's super herby, and it ta like it's like forty percent. It's like thirty-seven and a half percent. What it tastes like is like seventy. It, it, yeah. I don't know. You know how like with cheap alcohol, they always say like you taste the alcohol if it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. It's pretty much what it tastes like. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's not even like, nice alcohol. It's just no. it's kind of gross. <laughs> but for some reason, it's a tradition here, and they always make everyone try one. It's like if you like boil down, yeah, Jägermeister seventeen more times. That's kind of what you get to. Oh, well, Jäger is, like tastes like heaven compared to that stuff. Yeah. if you ask me. But yeah, for some reason they're like, Sarah, you won. You gotta try one. It's a tradition, and you know, it's like okay, just one. And then he took it, and I was ready for him to make some funny faces, but he just took it, and he's like. Not very good. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> we know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very Finnish man after all. Yeah, sometimes at the German stream they go crazy, man. Naruto and Take, they just have a bottle at the table and then every single time somebody gives 10 subs, they take another shot or something and I'm like, oh my God. why would you guys do this to yourself? Even you can't do that, Roddy. <laughs> Rainer, did you ever try the Essacher Luft? What? Essacher Luft, like the, the gross shot they always hand out here. The German tradition. Okay. You've never tried it? Okay. That's oh. good. I think you, you, you will love it. Keep it that way. Yeah. yeah. You're not No, I think we should. Uh, you know, we always have the sellout section right right before the uh, the finale. Yeah. I feel like that would be a great opportunity. Not. No? No. Oh. Why? I mean, it's like an experience. Like glittering ass. <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing. There's so many great moments, man. Remember the 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 big game dancing clip? I love that clip. It's so funny. Oh, poor Gabe, though. Poor oh, he didn't Gabe. mind at all. Uh, did he mind? Yeah. Uh, I asked him. He was like, "No, it's not a problem." <laughs> of course, because it's Gabe. Yeah. You can also Gabe uh, ask Gabe on the Sunday morning. Are you hangover? He's like, "No, nah. I'm too old. I'm too young for that. Too young for hangovers." <laughs> I'm, like, I'm too young. For I'm like Gabe, we have been speaking for 20 seconds. There is sweat on your forehead. He's like, "Yeah." really warm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh! <laughs> I just drink a lot of water. It's fine. <laughs> I like, yeah, I just went for a run. I was like, no, you didn't, Gabe. You're sitting in the couch. 
Uh, 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 uh. It's good to have older people here again, yeah. man. Like, not everyone yet, but at least it feels more like a regular home story. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, a, it's a hybrid one. That's how I see it, right? Yeah. It's our final stop. That's why we are flying, Loco. That's why we're on the right. airports all the time, because we're flying. Flight. Where are we Tomorrow. going? Australia? For an Oscraft. Home story of in Australia. <laughs> 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 no, we're just going to Crayfield, but uh, it took a little while. It's been almost... Well, I guess it's going to be a year and a half after Home Story Cup 20, right? Because that one... Yeah. Yeah. No. Is it two years? Um, Home Story Cup... It was in November, was it? Yeah, November? November. It was, I think, right after BlizzCon. November 2019. Yeah. What's the next game that comes after this? Um, Rainer is asking me off camera. Um, I think I think it's Lembo. Yeah, I think it's Lembo. Clem? Liquid Clem. You want to cast that one? Ooh. I don't know if Twitch don't want you to, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Loco, by the way, you've got Hellions here. Hellions? Mm -hmm. These are the first Hellions. He's made this whole series. Yep. Actually, yeah. yeah. We're game no, four. No, no, he's been going first triple yeah. Uh, yeah. Hellions are so broken, according to Rainer. Rainer is having a discussion with us. He said, no cap. No cap, Rainer. Okay. All right. So. Quick double upgrades right here from Rain or from Stun. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't talk anymore. What have you done to me? <laughs> Quick double upgrades from Cyril. I'm sorry, man. Rain has said he's here for the memes, drink some beer, and that's about it because he's washed. But last, one, last Monday you were peaking, so that can't be the case. <laughs> <laughs> Rainer basically explaining that this week has been a bit of a roller coaster for him, but it's all good. Let's see if Bjorn can find some success here with his first 12 to 14 million. Oh, the Alliance! The Alliance kind of left Metafic? behind. No? Nah, I think he needs to keep the Metafac near the Marines. This is not going too well for Bjorn, though. No. It's this is going from bad to worse right now. This is also a pretty aggressive opener, obviously, from Saro as far as, like, eco goes, right? He's been happily making a bunch of workers, and he's got the 1-1 coming up way before bailing speed. So this is one of those builds where you should technically be at a little bit more of a risk without the bailing speed upgrade, but he's fine so far. 1-1 upgrades finishing up for Saro. Oh, I'm going to be way ahead of Bjorn's. And normally the one downside is that there is this awkward moment where Terran has a lot of units, you don't have bailing speed yet. It can get a little bit dicey, but... I don't even know if we're really going to get there. Bjorn is going to send uh, his tank to the other side of the map as well, though. 33 Marines and a tank, Loco. Hmm. How many Manifacts are there? Just the two? Yeah. yeah. There's two more just about to finish up. It's just the 1-1. One, one. I guess bailing speed is late, though. There's a lot of Zerklings thinking about going for a counterattack or maybe a surround. Yeah, maybe run by. Maybe the doors are open. I mean, to be fair, Bjorn does kind of send everything to the other side of the map. Here come the links of Cero. Oh, it's wide open, sir. Oh, okay. okay. Well, he doesn't know. If you don't check. Yeah. Can I kill the orbital, though? <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. Yeah, this is buying a lot of time, though, because right now Bjorn is coming all the way back home. Bailing speed was late, as we've said 17 times, but it's going to finish up at this pace. Well, it's going to be... More than done, and this map is so big as well. There are so many different routes for these Zerglings and Banelings to run. Like, it's Bjorn is going to have a very hard time, I think, creating a little wall of depots over here or getting a sensor tower up. I'm very concerned for Bjorn because I think Saro right now has all the freedom in the world to just go up to 80 plus workers, fire up that hive, and I don't know if Bjorn can really do something until he's got more mechanical units, maybe some Liberators again, Libs and Tanks. I don't think the Libs were bad last game, I just think the start was too bad last game. Mm -hmm. Cyril just using the Zerklings that he's got right now. He's had very large amount of Zerklings <laughs> at like earlier stages of the game in this entire series so far, but he's using some of them right here to clear out some of the rocks. Can't blame him, obviously. Zerk likes to be mobile, and the more counter-attack paths, the better. But yeah, he's just uh, slowly gooping up the map with creep. It's not even that he's been slowing down that much there, it's just that the map is massive. Yep. I mean, to be honest, just really not been able to get a whole lot done. Maybe uh, this little 8 Marine hit squad, top side of the map, is going to stim in. I don't see too many units nearby. Bjorn's going to waste some time in an Overlord. He doesn't even kill. Now he steams, but it kind of gave Saro the heads up to get the units in the right position. I don't know if he would have been able to get a whole yeah. lot otherwise, but I think at least a little more. Yeah, probably giving Saro the respect as well, thinking, yeah, he's going to be here anyway. So the best I can get is an Overlord. <laughs> of yep. course, that one time you think that, he's not actually there. But 
and then there is overload speed and the overload lives and you're like, damn yeah. it. <laughs> you get absolutely nothing done. Yeah. yeah, this is one of those games where Bjorn so far has just not been uh, not been getting anything. He's been trying, he's been trying to create opportunities for himself, but so far he's not really gotten a whole lot. Yeah. Tiny connection there in the center of the map. Few Marines do go down. This is going to be Ultras from Sparrow. There's a very good Ultras. chance. Sorry. I think there is a very good chance with two plus two melee done, plus two carapace finishing up. I feel like we may as well. I would like to see a couple of investors though, because yeah. Beyond does go very heavy on the bio units. So it makes sense. It's going to be Vipers first. I still think it's always cool to have the opportunity to land a fungal or two. Whoa! Oh. Only single medevac here. Beyond is going to end up losing all of his marines. Man, you look at the numbers. This game doesn't even feel remotely fair. Sero's maxed out. He's got more workers. He's got Hive done. And Bionis is kind of sitting here on these three bases, getting yeah. a sensor tower. He's got a Ling over at the third base, or the fourth base, rather, on the right as well. Six o'clock position is being taken control of two by Serral, so he knows exactly the situation that he's in. And the situation that he's in is the one that he doesn't even really need to attack, right? He can try and, and push a little if he wants to. This is really sad for Bionis as well. He loads up two medevacs full of Marines. He's <laughs> like, oh, great. This is out at the fourth base. This map yeah. is massive. Yep. He's like, oh, it's revealed. Like, yep, it is revealed. Bainling's gonna try to go for a little run by. The sensor tower is here to give Beyond the heads up, so at least Beyond doesn't take any damage in this regard, and that is lovely. Picks up the Overseer too. Two mm -hmm. for one. So 3 3 is coming up, Adrenal Glance is coming up, Kitan is plating, Burrow. Basically, uh, Cero has got a massive piggy bank. He smashed it, and he still has money left over. He's gonna be able to remax with Ultralisk here if he wants to as well, even make an Aspire just in case of, well, Liberators, I guess. You can add on whatever you like. I'm surprised Sero doesn't get a little creep highway going at the top. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect size to just send one, two more forward, and then you can actually cover the entire top uh, part of the map up. One thing that Sero doesn't really have is a lack of vision on this one, so I guess he's not too concerned about it. Yeah, but once all of those, uh, all of those upgrades are done, it's going to be very difficult for Bjorn to really get anything in, right? Like, he's just going to get attacked by wave after wave of Zerk. Yeah. Bjorn is going to play one of these campaign missions. How long can you survive <laughs> against the onslaught of <laughs> the swarm? <laughs> yeah, survive the Zerk for 30 minutes. If you make it to minute 27, we can get, uh, I don't know, Rainer out of here. Maybe it will be fine. Well, put on a couple of creep tumors again. <laughs> With a couple, I mean half a dozen. Starts up another CC, okay. You Ghost Academy comes up. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> this is going to be a planetary fortress? This command? If this is going to be a planetary in the wall, it's going to be a long game, but not one that he can really win. I think it's going to be a planetary. Yeah. I guess it's a good way to stay alive. But, like, Serol has already got, like, six bases. He's going to soon have, like, 12 if he, <laughs> if he decides to go planetary there, too. Yeah, the only thing that Serol doesn't have is too much gas in the bank, so I guess he wants to play it safe. Serol's even going to get the re uh, the gold base. Mm -hmm. Eight mineral patches of gold. High yield. All the money. Yep. He was already a rich boy. Now he's even richer. Here goes the Zerk army, though. 3-3 three, three is... Uh, he was thinking about it anyway. It is done. Almost. We've got Vipers out, so we can start abducting some of these tanks. I mean, Pion is playing ultra totally here. It's almost like he's playing Mac, but he's not. A couple of Lightning Clouds do go down. Pion is going to lose a handful of tanks here. Don't think Sarah is going to be able to end the game with this attack, but no. he is going to deal a lot of damage, that's for sure. Gonna be able to remax very easily. 80 more Actually. Zerklings on the back of this. GG is yeah. cold. Actually, only 50 army supply behind it, and most of it was in tanks and medevacs. I mean, the opening just didn't go well for Bionadon, and Saro completely ran away with it. Kind of a shame to end such an exciting best of five yep. with a game like this. Pride of Altris not really delivering so far. No, not as good as uh, at least some of the other maps we've seen. I love how the average unspent resources for Sarah was a thousand. That's not because he was macroing poorly, but because he was maxed out yeah. <laughs> most of the game. He was actually <laughs> hovering around like 160 for a while, and I feel like he was just wondering, like, what shall I spend my money on? How many Vipers do I want? How many Ultras do I want? Uh, overall, a very exciting best of five, though. If you guys just joined us for this final map, go back into the VOD. Game one, fantastic.